and welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, last week you said you were disappointed uh, after the House Education Committee killed education savings accounts uh, on a tie vote with several Republicans joining in the opposition. What's on your mind regarding that this week? Well, Rob New wrote the same day um, our segment was airing, uh, Rob New, the superintendent of the Oklahoma City Public Schools, had a commentary in the Oklahoman, and it was deeply offensive. I was terribly disappointed in the role that Republicans played in killing school choice, uh, in the House at least, uh, for the time being. But I was uh, kind of in shock over uh, the things that Rob New said. He, his assumption seemed to be that the money belongs to public school administrators rather than belonging to taxpayers, the people who pay the bills. And um, money should follow in the education system. This is a belief I've had all my life and that many uh, supporters of school choice have had for decades, which is that money should follow the child to the educational setting that is best for him or her and or is the choice of the parents. Rob News said that uh, the, the push for things like the education savings accounts was the greatest threat to Oklahoma public education uh, in the legislature. And he was equating the legislators who support it as being the greatest threat. Well, as somebody that spent his whole life supporting all of the above approaches to reform, including uh, improved funding for uh, public education, as was the case in Maps for Kids. I was in this town when Maps for Kids happened. He wasn't. And it is offensive for a public school administrator to take the position he took so unfeelingly towards people who pay their taxes to finance the education of other people's children and do so willingly. And the proposal to shift some resources from the existing status quo into the hands of parents and of educational settings that can be more appropriate uh, for children is not radical. It's as old as this country and uh, in the modern era as old as John F. Kennedy uh, when he was our president. So I was very disappointed. Uh, these are, the, again, people who pay the bills, who do so willingly, and to be marginalized in the way that uh, Superintendent New did was just disappointing and it was, you know, borderline infuriating. Sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll have to tell us how you really feel. Yeah. Uh, now, a, a certain controversial uh, conservative Republican legislator had been in the news a lot this past week for her actions on gay marriage and other related issues. But you've reported on something that Sally Kern did that is not controversial but hasn't gotten much attention. Yeah, it's not only not controversial. Uh, her proposal, HB 1006, gained 91 to nothing approval, and it would authorize... Uh, the use of wiretaps explicitly in cases of human trafficking, uh, pandering of humans uh, for sexual purposes, and investigations of child prostitution. Uh, I commend uh, Sally Kern for her interest on this, and it really does illustrate that in the legislature they agree more often than they don't. Well, you can read more about these and other topics at CapitalBeatOK.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.